Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to put together a quick video to talk about a subject that I know is very important to you if this is your first uh, criminal offense, maybe this is your first arrest and you're facing a charge. And I wanna speak specifically about Tarrant County if, this, if you're facing your first criminal charge out of Tarrant County. The subject is how to get a criminal case dismissed through a diversion program in Texas. Now I want to encourage you, if you like what you're seeing here and you like the free content we're providing, I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel below here and uh, we'll get you more free content. There's much of information that you can learn about criminal laws in Texas. But in this video, we're going to explain the diversion programs in Tarrant County, Texas, and specifically how they can be used to get your criminal case dismissed. Um, now, we're going to identify a few of those and we'll answer a few of your questions that might come up potentially. Because a lot of times people will ask, they'll say, well, how do I know if my case is qualified for a diversion program? What if, it, what if my case has been sitting around for a while? Is there a chance I've missed some of the deadlines? And that's a great question because I want you to understand, don't miss this video. Stick around for the content in this video because many of these diversion programs I'm going to speak to you about today, they have deadlines that are non-negotiable. You do not want to miss a deadline for what we're talking about here today. All right, so by the way, if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna give you a free ebook uh, of what to do if you've been charged with a crime in Texas. It's gonna outline pretty much everything you'd ever want to know about how to deal with a crime in Texas. All right, let's just jump right into where we're at. I recently had a client call me and a prospective client, they talked to me and they said, Jeff, listen, I made an enormous mistake. It's a first offense, never been in trouble before. I don't think it's the, 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 the actual evidence is gonna look good for me. Is there still a possibility that I can get this off my record and not have to go to jail, get this put behind me, get my life back? And the answer was absolutely yes, absolutely. We could potentially use a Tarrant County diversion program to get your case dismissed. Now, what do we mean when we say that? Well, if you're a first offender, if this is your first offense, you may qualify to get your case dismissed through one of these diversion programs. There's a number of diversion programs in Tarrant County. There's the Deferred Prosecution Program, number one. There's the First Offender Drug Program. There's the Pre-Trial Diversion Program. There is the uh, Mental Health Diversion Program. There are multiple diversion programs that exist. Each, each case is, is specific in terms of what the, the best fit would be for them in terms of getting their case dismissed the quickest and the easiest. But these need to be examined. And I, you gotta understand each program has their own specific set of rules and deadlines in order to complete the program. But it's important that you uh, analyze the, the specifics of these programs and get into one that allows you to get this put behind you. All right, now potential clients often uh, ask me, should I hire an attorney or should I just look into these after my first court date? Now, I wanna tell you right now, no matter who you decide to hire as your attorney, it's extremely important that you get started sooner rather than later, and here's why. Each one of these programs have deadline dates. The vast majority of them are right at about the 90-day mark, and many times with, the, uh, with all that's going on right now and how backed up the court systems are, I've seen instances where someone waits until their first court date, and they are right up on the deadline and sometimes miss the deadline because of that. So it's very important that you get somebody started looking into it because there are no exceptions to these deadline dates. No exceptions at all. For instance, I had a client that recently called me and she, she had picked up her first drug case, drug related case, and she really needed to get this case dismissed and expunged from her record as soon as possible because she was going to be going into medical school. So one of the things that we did is we, we looked into one of those programs that I talked about earlier, the Deferred Prosecution Program otherwise known as the DPP program. Now, what kind of program is that? That is a program designed for 17 to 24 year olds, and it could apply to you if you have a first time misdemeanor. It can also apply to you depending upon what type of felony you have, you may qualify for that as well. Now I want you to know something, it's one of the easiest programs you could possibly go through in Tarrant County, because essentially you gotta pass a drug test, fill out an application, go to an orientation, and you just gotta stay out of trouble. If it's a misdemeanor, you stay out of trouble for four months, mail in a form once a month for four months. At the end of the four months, your case is dismissed and you can immediately get it expunged from your record, okay? And if it's a felony, the felony time frame is an eight, eight, month, uh, eight month program, 
But once again, it is also dismissed. So it's we in this particular instance, we had this this client got into the DPP program, and within four months, her case was dismissed, and we were moving towards an expunction so that she could deny that this had ever even happened. You could also consider the first offender drug program known as the FODP program, and that's specifically, as it sounds like, it's specifically for drug cases. Now, it's a little bit different program. It's more intense than the deferred prosecution program. There's more extensive drug testing. There's classes involved. Involved. It's more expensive, and there is also a longer waiting period for the time frame to get it off your record. However, it covers more felonies and more serious charges as well. So it's one that's still worth definitely looking into. Now there's a 90 day, the program is only 90 days for a misdemeanor, but it's six months for a felony. But there's a waiting period of a year before you can get it expunged from the record. Finally, there's the mental health diversion program. I won't spend a whole lot of time on that one. Um, you have to meet certain criteria on their mental health evaluations. If you, uh, we, if you need assistance with that, we can, we can help you and answer those questions for you. But I want you to know, what if you don't qualify for those programs? What if you don't know? What if you don't know if your case qualifies for those programs? What if you aren't sure whether you've missed the deadline date or not? Don't hesitate to call the Hampton Law Firm at 817-877-5200. We are here to help you with that. All right, I promised you if you stuck around to the end that I would give you a free ebook. Uh, what to do if you've been charged with a crime in Texas. Click right below, right here, am I doing it right? Click right below, right here on the link below, and it'll prompt you and you give your information. I'll be glad to send you this free ebook. It provides you everything you'd ever wanna know. It's about 4,000 plus words that'll give you a, a plenty of free value about how to handle your criminal case. And if you need assistance, don't hesitate to call us, 817-877-5200. Thanks again.